Check one, two, check, check one, two. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Sunny Side. I'm Sunny. This video right here, right now, is the monthly horoscope for the month of May 2019 for Aries. Whoop whoop! Hey Aries, what's up? I hope you're having a super amazing day. Hope everything is super cool with you guys. Just, you guys want to know something? Just for fun, you might want to watch this video at double speed. Because <laughs> I'm a little slow and I know you guys are a little aggressive and you like to jump to it. I've got the, um, it's an astrology video, uh, and I'm going to show your chart soon. But before we do that, I'm going to pull a card, because I know you guys like when I pull a card. Here, there we go. I'm releasing my inner Aries. Arr! Aries. <laughs> All right, Aries, here you go. So, for those who don't know, just a little blah, blah, blah first. Oh, sorry, please. So, uh, I'm a professional astrologer. I do write the horoscopes for some of the newspapers up here in Canada. And if you want a personal reading, just check it out in the description box below. In addition to all of that, I have some workshops coming up. There's an astrology workshop coming up on Sunday, May 18th, and it's a um, all about your rising sign. You can find out more about that in the description box below. And finally, I have a, uh, a Mother's Day special going on right now. For up until Mother's Day, all of, uh, not all of, <laughs> there's two of my astrology reports are on sale for you guys. One is the birth chart, your natal report, and then the other is the progressed report. And whether you realize it or not, your chart changes over time. It progresses. It's called the progressed report. So you might be like, you might have been born and lived the first number of years of your life as a real aggressive Aries, and then suddenly you find yourself slowing down. No, it's not because your hormones are a little out of whack, Aries. It's not because you don't, you know, it's, uh, your chart progresses over time, and you might have progressed from very competitive and aggressive Aries into a more stay-at-home kind of uh, Taurus, you know, a more methodical uh, you know, possessive kind of Taurus. Or you may be a little older and you've progressed all the way into, um, you know, a chatty Gemini. You know, things change. Your chart changes over time. And I'll just show you guys a quick example here. Again, there's a link in the description box below. And I put it, obviously, it's on the sunnyside.net, but I also put the sale on my music website, which is sunnysidemusic.com. If you want, you know, for other, you know, other people want to check it out too. And so here it is, $30 for your birth chart report. $30 for your progress report or $50 for both. And I use an example of Donald Trump. So his, because like you guys know who he is. So this is his birth chart report, right? This is your natal report. It goes on and on and on and on. And then just to see how the chart changes or how the report changes over time, I also put his progress report here. So you can go check it out and see what the deal with, um, you know, an example of your reports. And that's the action. All right. Very cool, Sonny. Thanks, man. I thought it was cool, too. Let's get down to it. All right, Aries, thanks for your patience. Let's burn through this. The month is going to be in two halves. The first half and the second half. Duh. <laughs> okay. So, oh, my God. Here we go. First up, Aries, you have the Hermit card. This is, ver okay, so we're going to do your horoscope in a second. But here's a little card for you. It's the Hermit card. It's Virgo energy. And it um, it's Virgo energy in the Hebrew glyph is um is yod which means the hand of god or creating things the way you do it this is this card is pretty straight ahead it means a couple of things uh without overly describing it what happens is um in the story of tarot there's a lot going on with tarot and he's at this point in the story and he's very confused you know people aren't being people aren't necessarily honest with him so aries watch out for people not necessarily being honest with you right now and you know once again he's confused he's being loud and proud he's you know he's gone through the chariot where he has to stick up for himself he's um held in his emotions uh you know he's controlled himself he's he's behaving at work he's behaving in the world but he's you know things aren't working out for him the, he was under an illusion and now he needs time to figure it out in aries most of you guys according to the card anyways it means you need time to figure things out so the hermit says you know take some time for yourself you know when i was rewriting the 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 major arcana story the story of tarot for inner city kids i called the hermit the library you know libraries don't exist anymore i guess but like this is time for you to take some time for yourself and so you can just you know quiet all the voices and chill out and then figure out what you want to do then uh, make a list right yod hand of god uh, you know so the hermit is quieting the voices you know, going inwards, focusing on what you want to do, shining a light on your true passions, and then making a list, right? It's Virgo energy. Make a list about how you can accomplish what it is that you want to do. And that's the action, Aries. That's what the Hermit card means. 
Great. Next. Interesting. All right, let's see what's going on with... Let me double check this because I messed this up yesterday. All right, there we go. <laughs> it's, I messed this up with one of the signs. Okay, Aries. We're going to start with the month and um, of May. And I put the chart up for May 4th. Because this is when all the action is really going to start going down. All right. So May 4th is right here. So there are a couple of things happening. There's some, I wrote it down here. There's some big stuff happening. The big stuff is right here. And this is going to continue for the rest of the summer. Jupiter is currently going retrograde. So Aries, you might have lovers uh, from the past returning. Okay, forget about lovers from the past. This, this is stuff that um, this part of your chart here represents higher learning, education. Education is higher learning, right? Higher learning, like I said, put the video on fast forward. <laughs> higher learning, education, travel, you know, things from a distance, having an exotic fetish. And things were probably pretty good with you from a distance. Uh, you were probably, um, you know, maybe you were making money. You had a lot of foreign clients. You know, maybe girls from other parts of the world were into you. Or maybe some, um, uh, you know, you were going down to school. You were back to school, taking courses at school, and things were really good. You might have been teaching a course, and things were very good. Something at a distance, something exotic, something very spiritual, something very f philosophical. And all of that, was, all of that was, was happening pretty good. And it probably resonated quite deeply with you because you're actually, your son is right here, and this is over here. And this angle like that is a pretty good angle in astrology. So it would have been flowing. But now that this planet is going in this direction, you know, you know, uh, from our perspective, obviously. And then what's happening is all of that luck and expansion that was happening in education or in uh, something at a distance is starting to dry up. And you're like, what the fuck, man? Like, so if all these uh, exotic, you know, if you're at the bar Aries and all these exotic girls are like all into you and like suddenly you're standing there and you're like, where the fuck did everybody go? <laughs> that's the kind of vibe that's happening. Or if you were selling a lot of products overseas and suddenly nobody overseas wants to talk to you, that's what's going on. Or if you were at school and you had all these opportunities, suddenly all the opportunities dried up. That's what the fuck is going on. So, but it's not just optimism waning. It's also, you have to return, right? You, all of these little planets represent a direction of your personal energy and the direction should you, you know, the, should it impact you. And there are things that have to happen for it to actually impact you. I will, you know, you sh people should realize that in astrology. But if it, if it does impact you, you're going to have to return to these places to clean up something. So you might have to travel to clean something up. You might have to make a phone call overseas to clean something up. You might have to go to another state or another city. Or you might have to deal with some uh, foreign interests. And that's what that is. You know, you're just going to have to clean it up. In addition to all of that, Pluto, ooh, the planet of, oh, what the fuck, is making an ass, is returning towards the nodes. Uh, but it's not going to catch the nodes. But it's Pluto's change. And uh, it's very painful and powerful change and it's going back and you got to clean up some shit with um that's been happening for the last two years in your life two three years in your life you've been going through some kind of shit and you got to clean it up wherever it is in your chart you got to clean it up and i'm going to tell you right now and it's going to happen for the entire summer so you're going to have to go back and it's going to be a what the fuck and that is happening in your career so it's your job. Maybe your where you work is restructuring. You know, maybe they're about to fire everybody. Maybe they were gonna fire everybody, but somehow there was a reprieve and everything was okay, cool. But now it's starting in May for the entire summer. They're gonna restructure and refinance, and you're gonna be like, "Fuck, it's gonna get expensive." So just watch your ass at work or watch your back. I don't know. It depends where you work. So Aries, watch your back at work. Watch your back publicly. You were probably looking pretty good and everything was pretty good. And suddenly, what the hell is everyone going on? There was everybody who got all this fucked up action going on. I thought we were all juicy, man. And so, so that's the action that's going on. And that's going to happen for the entire summer. So watch shit. So watch out. You know, if you're applying for school, say you're in college and you have to apply for your graduate program, then, you know, you're going to have to reapply. You know, so just keep that in mind. If, um, you know, if you're, that's the deal. Spirituality, you're going to go back to church, that kind of stuff. Uh, also, 
some stuff is going to happen once again at the office and that's the first that's the first big thing but that's the biggest thing and it's going to happen it's going to keep going it's going to it's an ongoing situation that's going to uh, affect you for the entire summer because the restructuring at work doesn't happen overnight next we have the full the new moon see how the sun and the moon are together like that that's a new moon in your astro sector of personal finances so Aries you're going to get a new start in the money sector which is awesome possum man good job Aries so what do you want to say <laughs> you're in a new you obviously if you get a new job you have a new beginning financially if you get paid for your work if you don't get paid for your work then you don't you're not going to but it's it's, it's stuff anyways so that's the deal so new beginnings financially on top of all of that you are in the love spotlight for the first half of the month and then in the second half of the month money is going to be awesome possum well look at that in the second half awesome possum where did i just learn to speak like that sonny <laughs> okay and finally and finally is that it is that it so we did that we did this kind of stuff we did the new moon then we um oh okay so here we go oh we did love you're in the love spotlight now finally for the beginning of the month there is a there is a bit of a problem you have to watch out for traffic accidents seriously watch out for traffic accidents computer crashes you might buy a new computer or a new cell phone aries next month or halfway through the month you're going to very seriously think about moving but we'll get to that in a sec so but watch out for computer crashes watch out for car crashes watch out for fights with your brothers and sisters and you know a lot of energy in new business now there's one more thing before we move on this transit right here see this red line that red line in astrology when this uh you know when mars opposes jupiter like that it means loud and proud aries so what's going on is everybody's going to be loud and proud and boastful to start the month so just be careful that you don't get sucked up into any stupidness because you are going to be fighty with your words and so aries be careful for fighting with your words and that's the action once again once again, let's recap the first half of the month. So the first half of the month, and for all summer, there are going to be problems at work, restructuring at work. Now, if you're an Aries, this is for Aries rising as well, but if you're like, say, an Aries that's like a Cancer rising, expect restructuring in your relationships and expect to watch your health, right? So this can affect love and money. Watch out for it. Now, uh, you're going to get a new beginning financially, and in the second half of the month, money's going to be good anyways first half of the month you're in a love cycle so be romantic and just be romantic on top of all of that you're fighty with your words you're going to fight with your brothers and sisters do 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 do, do and you're probably going to smash up the car <laughs> so if you have aries children watch out for watch out for problems with the car it's fascinating it's fascinating i have a a thing is happening with my motorcycle uh, I'm not an Aries, and this thing is affecting. I'm a Scorpio, and it's affecting me in my astro sector, just like it's going to affect you. It's a different, pl different energy, but it's similar, and um, it's funny. It's I've already felt it. I've already felt it. My motorcycle sprung a leak. <laughs> it's really funny. And was I'm fixing that? It's not a big. It's not a big deal. The uh, it's not a big deal. I don't think it's a big deal. <laughs> it's, uh, I'll find out on Tuesday. <laughs> it's a. Uh, but, uh, you know, life is crazy. It sends you all these twists and turns. It's important. You know, the success in life, you know, we're wrong more often than we're right in life. It's important to be wrong small and to be right big. You know, you're not, you're, you're not, you're judged, you're judged on what have you done for me lately. So if you had fuck, if you're a recent fuck up, you'd be judged as a recent fuck up if you have a recent and so you want to fuck up small and you want to succeed in a spectacular fashion and you're Aries you can succeed in a spectacular fashion you have the the go how and the the no you know you can do it and so succeed big Aries reach for the goal go do it don't worry about these problems at work like they're there and you can't afford you can't avoid it this thing that I'm talking about that happened like it happened I didn't do anything and the bike is <laughs> and so you know or communication problems you know you can't sometimes it's in our control I messed up the Gemini video and had to reshoot some so you know it just happens and so for you just deal with it you know all right so here we go 
What's up? In the second half of the month, we're going to have a full moon, and the full moon is going to be in Scorpio. See the opposition there? And so for you, something is going to be revealed in your sex life. So Aries, if you're having sex with someone, everyone's going to find out. If you've been cheating with someone, everybody's going to find out. Ooh. It also means if you're le waiting for legal papers or legal documents, it's going to happen midway through the month. You're going to get your legal documents. It's pretty kind of interesting, Aries. So midway through the month, you'll get your legal documents. Midway through the month, you'll get that alimony payment if you're waiting for it, or your child support payment if you're waiting for it. Midway through the month, you're going to find out what's going to happen in joint finances. And that's the deal. Remember, Aries, you're restructuring your finances right now. And I would expect something good to happen. So when you're going to find out what's happening behind the scenes, full moon tells you what's happening behind the scenes. But from the second half of the month, see that? Venus is moving over here. You're entering into a money cycle so you were in a love cycle now you're in a money cycle so maybe now you love money i don't know what to do this so that's what's going on once again see all these little r's here this problem at work and problem at a distance is going to continue for the rest of the summer expect to clean up a lot of this is the summer of cleaning up messes so deal with it now we do have one thing that you have to watch out for in the second half of the month and that is situations happening at home aries might be moving all right, Aries might be moving. Aries might be uh, have, fighting with their parents. Aries might have problems at home. Aries' homes might be leaking. Aries, like, homes might catch fire. They might be flooding. You know, Aries got some, like, fucked up shit happening at home. And it's definitely going to affect your relationships. But not only is it going to affect your relationships. Oh, I didn't really talk about this with the other signs. But this is eventually going to cross your north node right here. What are you, like, master with the art, Sonny? Just drawing circles around shit. I know, I'm drawing circles around shit. So this little north node. So Mars is going to attract your north node. So you're going to move or you're going to do something about your house. Aries rising too, Aries energy. Uh, pertaining to some kind of lifelong goal that you really want. This is shit goals from the past. This is shit goals in the future. All right, so Aries, there's some kind of real major destiny that you're close to achieving right now. It might involve your house, it might involve your home, it might involve a relationship, it might involve you know arguing with the family or whatever deal. And you're not going to go lightly into this goal. You're going to put a lot of gas in this action, and you're going to really amp things up in the second half of the month to try and accomplish this goal right here. It's going to involve some kind of relationship, and it's a real thing that it's your hopes, dream, your dreams are, you want to make your dreams come true. And on the plus side, you should have the money to make this happen. You should have some happy Quan kind of experience. And that's the deal, Aries. <laughs> and that's the deal. So here we go. Just to recap, go find whatever it is that makes you happy and then do it. Watch out for accidents. Watch out for fighting with your brothers and sisters. You're in a love mode this beginning of the month, so everything is okay. Money mode for the second half of the month. Watch your career the entire summer. You know, watch how you look publicly for the entire summer. Something at a distance is a little fuck you, so watch it. In the second half of the month, you know, watch for action at home. Watch for moving. Watch for problems with your parents. Check your parents' health. And above everything else, you're gonna, you know, you're you're really close to achieving some kind of um some kind of goal i wonder what that that's an interesting thing i wonder what that means for me uh some kind of bullshit from far away okay whatever i'm not going anywhere <laughs> all right that's the action aries one more thing before we hit the boogie so once again get those astro you can support the channel please share the videos please give it a thumbs up please subscribe you know go to the check out the links in the description box below to get uh your astrology reports do 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 and this is the astroside.com. This is where you go to get your super cool sunny side hoodies and tees and mugs. And that's how you can support the sunny side. You guys can all go to yoga together wearing cool, badass sunny side gear. And that's the action, man. That's the action, Aries. Uh, uh, fuck you. <laughs> all right, Aries. I wish you the best. You know, for those who don't know, we have lots of live streams here on the channel if you want me to. Uh, we already do mini astrology readings for you guys, and I do. I read your tarot cards. Anyways, this month we have a, an astrology video on your um, 
Uh, this month we have an astrology workshop for you, on your rising sign. Next month we'll do a, a tarot workshop where maybe I'll explain how the I'll explain something else in tarot for you guys. And that's the action. You know, from the sunny side.net, I'm Sunny, wishing all Aries the absolute best of a super beautiful month. And I'll see you guys soon.